So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download an NDVI image using Landsat 8 image for any study region. So let's get started. So to download an NDVI image using Landsat 8 image first we have to import our Landsat 8 image into, into Google Earth Engine. So to import our Landsat 8 image so we have to define a variable called L8. So L8 here represents our Landsat 8 equals to double dot image collection Landsat LC LC Landsat 8 collection one tire one top of the atmosphere so this specific code will insert our landsat 8 image into google earth engine so next so next to get a least cloud contaminated image we have to define a variable called image 2015 equals to double dot image which refers to this our landsat 8 image collection and next we have to use our specific variable that is landsat 8 so that is defined here dot filter bound so we are filtering the specific study region so we are using a point data in order to uh, so in order to export our Landsat 8 image of 2015 let me show you that so this is our point so we are using this point in order to uh, import the Landsat 8 image of 2015 for this specific study region so now let me show you how to uh, import this point data into Google Earth Engine so now let me uh, reset and let me remove this uh, this point data so I remove this point data now so now let me import a point data so go to this option called add a marker now click this option add marker so now let me place my marker here so here I have placed my marker so we can uh, able to view that we have variable called geometry point with the latitude and longitude has been created in this section so now let me rename as a point so we have defined our study region as a point so let me rename from geometry to a point so now I have replaced the variable name as point. So Landsat date dot filter bound that is our study region. I'm filtering with specific study region using our point data. So that is expressed here. So we are using that variable as point. So next we have to filter with a specific timeline. So for that we define dot filter date 2015 January 1 to 2015 December 31st. So next sort by cloud cover. So we are sorting with the least cloud contaminated image from 2015 uh, image and dot first function here refers to the image with the least cloud contaminated image will be in the first order. So for that we are using this function called dot first function. So next we have to compute our normalized difference vegetation index to calculate our NDVI from Landsat 8 image. So now let me show you the formula for uh, normalized difference vegetation index. So here this is our law. Uh, Landsat 8 formula for uh, NDVI, NDVI formula so that is band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So we have to word, use this particular formula NDVI equals to band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So it will give us an NDVI image. So now let me get back to uh, Google Earth Engine. So to compute our normalized difference vegetation index I defined a variable called NIR. So NIR here refers to band 5 and uh, band red band here refers to band 4. So we are using band 5 and band 4. So for that we defined a variable called NIR equals to image dot 2015 dot select band 5. So we are selecting band 5 from the image of that is our Landsat 8 image. So I define this variable here. So we are selecting band 5 and similarly I defined a variable called red equals to image 2015 dot select band 4. So we are selecting band 4 that is a red band in Landsat 8 image. So next we have to perform our NDVI. So to perform our NDVI we defined a formula for our NDVI which I have previously has shown you. Let me show you once more. Band 5 minus band 4. Band 5 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So I have defined in such a way that NIR subtract red divided by NIR add red. I have, and next I have a dot rename NDVI. So I have renamed the specific variable name called NDVI 2015 to, to a NDVI. So for that we are using the specific function called dot rename NDVI. So next we have to display our result. That is we have to display our NDVI result from uh, using our Landsat 8 image. So for that I defined, so for that I defined map dot center object image 2015 with a zoom level of 9. So image 2015 refers to this specific variable that is our Landsat 8 image. So next we have to define a visualization parameter for our NDVI image in order to visualize the different 
a color composite of that specific individual image so for that we have to define a visualization parameter so for that we define a variable called ndvi params so if we have defined a variable called ndvi param that is refers to a visualization parameter equals to with the minimum value of minus one and to a maximum value of one so here the negative value will indicate so generally the ndvi value starts varying from minus one to plus one so minus one generally indicates the water bodies and plus one indicates the build up areas in between values which represents our vegetation value that is normalized difference vegetation index the vegetation values so color palette we are using is we are using three different color palettes so we are using three different color value palettes that is red here represents low ndvi value and the green represents very high ndvi value and yellow represents the moderate ndvi value so next to add this layer into earth engine we have to define a map dot add layer ndvi 2015 that refers to our landsat that is ndvi image so this specific variable after we have performed our ndvi formula so we are referring to that specific variable and next we are using this ndvi param that refers to our visualization parameter so it refers to this variable where we're given a palette's first color scheme from red to green with the minimum and maximum values and I'll put the layer name as NDVI image of 2015. So next we have to add this uh, our original image that is our uh, original image that is the Lancet 8 image. To visualize that we have defined map.add layer image 2015 which refers to our Lancet 8 image. And here the NDVI 2015 refers to our NDVI image. So last to export this image into our Google Drive. So we have to define export.image to to our drive. So image refers to NDVI 2015. So it refers to this variable. We are, NDVI, we are exporting only the specific variable of NDVI, NDVI 2015.int16 function. So the description will be NDVI image 2015. And the spatial resolution is around 30. So Lancet 8 image has a spatial resolution of around 30 meters. So for that we define the scale as 30. And region, we have defined our point. So point is our region. That is our region of interest. We are using that point data. We have exported our Lancet 8 image. And maximum pixel size is 1 is to 10 power 13. So now let us run this code. So go to the option called uh, run script and click run script. So now let us visualize our uh, Lancet 8 image and also our NDVI image. So we have two different layers. One layer representing a world that is our Lancet 8 image. And second layer here represents our NDVI image. So to uh, visualize in true color composite, go for Landsat 8 image, go click this option, setting option. Now let me choose the band options uh, 2 and 3 and 4. And select the custom as stretch 2 sigma and apply. So now uh, let us visualize the color composite here. So, so here I have changed the bands, band 4, 3 and 2. And uh, let me close this. So this is a true color composite of the study region of Lancet 8 image. So now we have two different layers. One layer is Lancet 8 image and second is NDVI image. Let me close this. So this is our NDVI image. So we can visualize that here the, the color, this specific color that is orange and red represents our water bodies. And similarly, here the very green, uh, dense green represents our high vegetation values. So now let me turn to satellite mode. Let us visualize this image so we can clearly able to view in this part of this has a very high vegetation now, now let me turn this layer off so you can visualize here we have a very high vegetation has been observed in the study region so let me turn this NDVI image on so you can visualize it very dense uh, vegetation is observed in this part of the region it is of agricultural activities has been indicated so here the, uh, we have water bodies so that is represented in the red color red and orange color Here the settlements also been clearly visible here in this portion of the image where the orange color indicates that is our yellow color here indicates our the settlements. So now visualize that. Let me turn this layer off. So we can visualize it. There is a, a large amount of settlements has been observed in this part of the region which is clearly marked in this uh, NDVI image showing in uh, an yellowish green color. So now to let us export this image to our Google Drive. So to export this image to our Google Drive, we have to go to the option called Task. 
So here there is an unsubmitted task called NDVI image of 2015. So to export your NDVI image to your Google Drive, so you can download that. So go to the click this option called run. So I click this option called run. So when a window will be popped up, yes, a window initiate image export, NDVI image of 2015. We have reference spatial resolution. We are now we are backupping to our drive. You can also use our Earth Engine assets. There are all 200 GB of uh, data can be uploaded in your Earth Engine assets. So you can also download and upload to your drive. So in this case, I will upload to my drive. So the file name is NDVI image 2015. File format is GeoTIFF. So uh, let me run this. Click this option called run. So you can uh, clearly be able to view in the task section uh, here, which represents our uh, task has been running. So it will take some time to export our NDVI image to a Google, uh, Google Drive. So it is indicating some uh, things, ID number, face, and uh, yeah, it will take some time to uh, upload our NDVI image to our Google Drive. So now we can able to visualize in the task section of our Earth Engine. So our NDVI image 2015 has been exported to our Google Drive. So to open in your, all you have to do is to open in the drive, click this option called open in drive. So in the drive, uh, you can able to visualize that image and you can download that image and uh, open using any ArcGIS software. So you can open using any ArcGIS software and visualize our NDVI 2000 image 15, 2015 image. So in this video, I've shown you how to download an NDVI image using a Landsat 8 image for any study region. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.